Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. We apologize that it's been so long since we've updated you on our Dixie Springs project, but we are actually headed to a meeting with our architect right now. Um, she built all of our favorite homes in the Parade of Homes, so we were really lucky to get in with her. She is usually about two months out, so we're super excited to go s to see what she has in store for us. <laughs> And why this step of your new build is incredibly important is because your architectural meeting is typically when you um, decide on what plan would best fit on the specific envelope, the building envelope of your lot. And then at that point, you try to meet all of your major requirements like the total square footage of the property, square footage of the garage setbacks you know there's certain things that get factored in like for instance if you're on a corner lot which we are you have additional requirements for the setbacks from either side of the street and that's when the architect and the builder come together and we decide on exactly what are we going to put on that lot and the vision begins to rise up from that uh, our architect and for for some privacy reasons, uh, we're, we're keeping some of this information classified this early in this project, but our architect is definitely one of the best in Southern Utah. She had designed a lot of the homes that we really like. Um, our build is going to have a very modern slanted uh, pitch roof build with um, lots of open airy space in like the main living areas. So we're factoring in a lot of the things that we would personally love in a home because if we're putting our name on something, we want to make sure that it is not just your average spec house. So um, we met with our partners and we decided that for this particular build, we didn't want to have um, something that's just a basic, basic, basic cookie cutter build. So we wanted to reclassify it as a custom build. However, we didn't want to put ourselves in, in the scenario that most builders are trying to avoid right now. Most builders in Southern Utah currently, and I think outside of Southern Utah too, if you're trying to build outside of Southern Utah, drop us a comment below this video to let us know what your experience is like. But most builders in Southern Utah either have their client purchase the lot and then at that point with a substantial deposit, only then they're customizing things. But majority of the builders for the general supply of inventory, they just build spec houses without any room to customize it. So. Keeping that in mind for the financial sake of this build so that it makes sense, uh, from an investment standpoint, we are going to select all of the finishes uh, designed this home, but at the same time, we're hoping to meet the demand of lots of our clients with our vision that we're putting into this house. So for that reason, uh, we decided to spend a little bit more time uh, and money on actually designing this build so that it's practical, it's beautiful, and it makes sense, and this is something, something that people actually want to live in. Um, and additionally with timing too, so uh, totally uh, coincidentally, it just so happens that if everything goes according to plan, this property will be finished right around the 2022 parade of homes. So naturally this home will be compared to some of the higher end homes. So we wanted to make sure that this property has a very premium feel. Don't have any exact specs at this point yet. I think we're about a week out from our preliminary drawings, but we're slating it to be a four bedroom, two and a half or three bathroom with a huge 50 foot double RV garage plus two car garage and some additional uh, bonus room, like um, bonus area above the garage that may be another master suite, we don't know yet. So we will give you more details in the next video. Unfortunately, for privacy reasons, we cannot film during this, during this meeting, during this architectural meeting, but we're very much looking forward to see where we land with our architect and our business partners, and we're so stoked to start moving forward. If you guys have any suggestions, anything, or, or maybe if you have questions. So part of the reason why we decided to produce this series is that 
you, our viewers, can learn a little bit from our experience. So if you're building a property, say if it's your primary residence or maybe you're building an investment home, whatever it may be, all of these same steps will apply to you. So if you have any questions about things that you should consider during this process, uh, maybe how this is gonna translate into bidding, how it's gonna translate into costs, hard costs in the plan, uh, drop them in the comments below. We would love to get those answered for you. And thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate all of your comments, likes, all the love that you give us on this platform. We will see you in the next one. Peace.